Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about slick plate carriers and what is even the point, especially if you're going to run these things as some type of built out, you know, a salter style plate carrier versus sticking with something more traditional, like, you know, a standard Molly style plate carrier. This has been a question that's been weighing on my mind over the past few years due to the increase in popularity in this style of armor carrier. And I believe the reason for this is because armor ownership amongst gun owners is a lot more than it used to be, which is pretty cool. This isn't to say that running slick carriers and, you know, kits over them or on them is some type of new thing. It definitely isn't. It's been a ton, uh, done a ton throughout the GWAT. And if you look back in the 90s, you can even see Delta Force doing this back in Somalia and I'm sure well before then. But over the past few years, I've seen a ton of different examples of different people's, you know, slick plate carrier setups. It always made me question, it's like, why wouldn't you just go with a traditional, you know, Molly style plate carrier versus modifying and pushing this thing into a roll you know, with zippers and, you know, placards and panels in your mom's refrigerator to make this thing, um, you know, as big as an AVS. You know, why not just go with that Molly play carrier? Because on those, those things are often designed to carry the weight of all those pouches and whatever you're sticking on your play carrier better. And you can place whatever pouch you want anywhere you want on that plate carrier because it has molly all over it. So, you know, it just it was kind of funny to me seeing like slick plate carriers that were as big and looked similar to like my saw AVS that I used in Ranger Battalion. All that being said though, I do believe that I found the answer to this question. It took a ton of pondering on my part and testing out different setups and talking to a few different people. And I do believe, you know, despite all that, that slick armor carriers are kind of the answer for majority of your needs. But before we dive into it, a word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by North Tech Optics. These are affordable optics, perfect if you're looking to upgrade your rifle, your shotgun, maybe your airsoft gun, past just iron sights, especially if you can't afford some of the more expensive options out there. This particular optic has 50,000 hours of battery life on its lowest setting. It also has 12 different brightness adjustments and it also has an auto on or off feature, which is adjustable. These are solid, affordable optics. And if you use code BLUE20 at checkout, it gets you 20% off go, your go, entire go. order. So go check them out. And big thank you to North Tech for sponsoring today's video. It is still going well. Also make sure to check out Slate Black Industries. Use code BJO10 for 10% off some sick M-Lock grips and accessories. Even though slick carriers are great as a low vis armor solution, I do believe that they are still good for a more offensive role. What I mean by this is that they are incredibly scalable in that you can run a slick carrier with a chest rig or you know your battle rack on top of it. I see a lot of guys when they're trying to build these things out, they choose to go the placard route, which I'm not a huge fan of. Placards work all right if you're running a, like a lighter chest rig, maybe something like a micro or even this you know uh, recce rig right here. But if you're choosing to run a more you know, dedicated fighting loadout, maybe like this 901, where you're carrying all of your sustain, like water, your medical, a ton of mags, because if you're trying to get into a gunfight, you're gonna wanna carry a ton of mags on you. You're gonna also be carrying your comms and stuff like that. And you know, if when you start to try to buckle that thing into a slick plate carrier, it's very uncomfortable, guys, especially if you're wearing it over a prolonged period of time. And you're kind of losing that capability of being able to don you know, your chest rig, take it off, maybe switch between the two uh, on your patrol. All right, to demonstrate the scalability for you guys, I have a ruck on my back, which has my armor in it, and I have a chest rig on. This is a concept that I've been working on and testing out and discussing with a few different people, most no notably my buddy Max, who is a much more brilliant military mind than I am. And we were kind of discussing this stuff back and forth. And he was saying that if we were to actually get involved in a near peer conflict, your sustainment and what you have on you to sustain your patrol uh, matters more than it did maybe when we were in Afghanistan, where we were essentially able to operate there with impunity due to their lack of ability to, you know, effectively shoot our shit out of the sky. So, you know, actually what you take on you in old school patrolling techniques would matter more in a near peer conflict. To demonstrate this guys, let's pretend that we have reached 
our ORP, our objective rally point. We have set into our security posture and we're dropping rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this ruck here. And inside it, I can get to my armor. Go ahead and take the carrier off. as I struggle to get this buckle. And you're off to the races. <laughs> as you can see guys, it didn't take that long to get my armor on. Um, if I was planning to get into a gunfight, if I had the choice, I would want to wear armor, but I wouldn't want to wear that armor for that 10 mile or plus movement actually getting to the objective. I want to save myself to better perform when I actually get there and do the deed. But, you know, I do believe that slick plate carriers, especially when combined with chest rigs for your fighting loadout, is an incredible capability, especially when it comes to patrolling and you know managing your sustainment loadout. Another great thing about slick plate carriers is that they're very easy to wear inside vehicles. Um, you know, mostly due to you're not having anything on your back, which is going to impede your ability to actually sit down in your seat. This could be done with a molly plate carrier as well, as long as you're not running anything on your back. But the difference is on a slick plate carrier, even if you're running a chest rig like this, you can offload this thing and, you know, even be more free to move about in your seat and you still have armor on. So that kind of plays into, shut the fuck up. That kind of plays into the slick plate carrier scalability. Um, you know, very popular amongst the vehicle crews and you know, police officers and stuff like that for its ability to be easily worn comfortably inside of a vehicle. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Jean Operator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find school shirts and merch, which helps support the channel. Also make sure to hit that notification bell just so you can keep up to date whenever I decide to post a new video. But that's all I got for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.